What's up? <clears throat> New location today. I am in the car. <sighs> Had to take the girlfriend to work today and then um, went to get the oil changed. And the oil place is like 10 miles. The dealership like 10 miles from her work. And driving back home is like 50 miles. So took the car in this morning for oil change, hung out. And now I've been driving around Portland or sitting on the street watching something on the phone. So I figured I'd make a video. Why not? You know, didn't feel like driving all the way home for a couple hours, getting lazy and then having to come back. So I'm just staying down here. And it's Portland. Portland's a dump, parts of it, especially driving in. But if you go that way, which doesn't mean any of you, like the zoos over there and stuff, it's really pretty up, up on the hill. Let's see if you can, hold on, I might be able to. Is that right? There. That would be the soccer field for the Portland Timbers. So anyway, today I got nothing really to say other than I've had these for two and a half years now. Ah. And there's bad days and good days. I made this video before, but I still think people need to see it. Don't get frustrated. Don't give up. You know, the first few months, they're horrible. But it gets better. Um, you're going to be your harshest critic. You're going to think they look funny. You're going to think your mouth's all poofed out like a monkey. Or a jackass. Or something. Most people, I think, pretty much all people wouldn't even notice it. But it's your face and you know it looks different. So you're harsh about it. Don't be harsh about it. Give yourself a break. And just... Enjoy the ride. Because it's definitely an adventure. I keep looking for the meter maid. So long I can park here for free before he shows up. Anyway. That's about it. Just, you know, if you can't eat something right away, don't worry about it. Find something else. It sucks having to eat food that is soft or... Seems like it's boring to me. It's like once I could finally eat again with my teeth, food became not boring. I could eat steak. I could eat whatever else I wanted. So, at first, you know, the food's boring. Whatever. Mashed potatoes. Eggs. Soup. Actually, there's a good soup. Broccoli. Broccoli and cheese by Progresso. Delicious. I have some at home. I need to make some. Maybe tomorrow I'll have some. But just, I'm bored. So I wanted to just hop on here and say, hey, everybody. And just relax. Hey, you know that Jimmy John's thing? Where I found blood on my sandwich? I emailed them. They sent me a form email response. And I responded to that. I'm like, I get blood on my sandwich. And I just get a form letter. I got a gift card in the mail. I guess it was last week. $10. The sandwich cost probably at almost 10 bucks. It's at least nine. So I get a free sandwich now. I don't want a free sandwich now. I mean, the more I think about it, I've come to grips with it. And I think it's, in my mind, it's now tomato. But, I don't know. The guy called me from the local Jimmy John's the other day. And I called him. I missed his call. I called him back. He wasn't there. I haven't called him since. Maybe I should do that right now after I get done with you guys. See what he has to say. But. I just thought a $10 gift card was kind of weak for 
potentially exposing me to anything. And then I never went to the doctor to get a blood test because in my mind it's tomato sauce. And plus, girlfriend's dad got COVID last week or this weekend. I think I probably had it. I didn't test myself. But I had crazy headaches and some more coughing than normal. The girlfriend feels like crap, but she's tested negative. So I told her, hey, just because you're sick doesn't mean it's COVID. People got sick before COVID. So it could just be a standard cold. Wow. One thing about parking downtown Portland is one thing, all the homeless people that walk around, most are probably fairly harmless, but some are insane. It's quite good people watching. There was a guy walking by earlier with a dress, a backpack, and a cape. And then like two weeks ago when I was down here, a little girl walking on the other side walked across the street with a jacket. And I didn't really look at it. I didn't notice. Didn't really think much about it. But when she got in front of me, I could she like, you know, flip the jacket down on her back. She wasn't wearing a shirt, no bra. I'm like, well, that's not right. Let's go look. So I immediately start the car and haul butt down the road. And I get next to her and turn around and look at her. Yep, she was just showing them. Nothing special, but you know, when you're six foot maybe and 110 pounds because you're all cracked out, it's not attractive. But it's a good time down here, people watching. So that's about it. I rambled on for seven minutes so far, and I didn't think I would because I had nothing to say. But other than that, just give yourself some time. Dentures you suck in the short term. In the long term, they're fine. They're good. Probably better than what you have now or had with teeth. It is with me, at least. You know, I guess if you had good teeth, you wouldn't be having dentures, right? So, you know, don't be ashamed that you have dentures. I've learned a lot of people have dentures. And a lot of people younger than I ever thought have dentures. So, just... Go easy on yourself. Oh, here comes a whole herd of... What is... I'm telling you, these people, man. Oh, you guys can't see it. Walk. I thought they were going to come all the way over here. I was going to show you, but... I think that woman's pregnant. And wearing a very small half shirt. Not a good look. Not a good look. Lounge around the house if you're pregnant. Do what you want, but I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm going to sit here all day and ramble on probably, so don't. <laughs> Have a good one. Please subscribe. Um, join our... I forgot what it's called. Discord. I'll put it in the description, maybe, if I remember. I never do, but I might. So, peace out. See ya.